Hi, my name is Cece Doucette and I am a technical and professional writer and a lot of the work that I do involves research so when it came to light that there might be some problems with health that come along with all of the Wi-Fi technology that we're adopting now I started doing a bit of research and what I found was disturbing and I just wanted to give you a quick demonstration of how you know we can't see Wi-Fi we can't smell it but we can hear it if we use a conductor that will allow us to. And through a very simple, crude home remedy, you use an AM transistor radio, and this is just a cube that amplifies from uh, a friend's iPod. So what I'm going to demonstrate is that there are different amounts of radiation that are coming through to us and potentially to our children in schools based on what type of technology they use. So first, I will show you a typical wired desktop system. And you will hear some static. That's the electrical field that is around any electrical object. And it goes like this. So if I'm working on a desktop, you'll hear about this much static, OK? And that's the same thing with the CPU. If it's facing you in the front, you don't get very much static at all. Out the back, you will have more static. but Science has proven that the more distance you can place between yourself and the device, the less it's going to impact your physical um, well-being. So, again, the hardwired system, not too bad. The laptop, however, this is, that's where I would normally be keeping my hands, and laptops, if used in the lap, would have that whole force field out in front of you and aiming directly at your body and you're absorbing absorbing that amount of radiation. So again, here's the laptop, here's the desktop, and we also have an iPad with us here today. And we'll get this one up and running. Um, so if I'm sitting here with my iPad, oh, went into sleep mode, sorry. If I'm sitting here with my iPad, this is the amount that's going into me. You'll notice the sound change. And if we sit here, you can hear it picking up the Wi-Fi signal. So every second or two, it's pulsing and pulling in a stronger current that's then going right into our bodies. So one other discovery we had is that when you put your finger on here to do something, Whoops. I am the conduit, and it's going right into my system. So I hope this helps you to see a little bit why we're concerned about Wi-Fi in our schools and that we do have some choices. We can still get to the technology without jeopardizing our children whose bodies are still cell dividing and absorbing the radio frequencies into their DNA. And there's a ton of research out there, but we just wanted to give you a visual so that we can begin a discussion and see how we want to approach Wi-Fi in our school systems. Thank you for your time.